Now let's turn to the magazine sector and total sales tumbled 7.8% in the circulation results in the latest read hit by the challenging retail environment. Let's have a look. Men's magazine suffered some big falls led by ACP's FHM, which fell 48%. News Life Media's MasterChef also saw continued sales decline down 33%. Among the biggest gains in circulation were tween titles, including Little Angel, which rose nearly 17%. And the biggest selling magazine remained ACP's The Australian Women's Weekly, though circulation was down 3%, followed by Pacific Magazine's But Homes and Gardens, which saw sales fall 1.7%. Let's get some more on this with James now James what sort of overall trend were you seeing in these figures yeah I think we're seeing a continuation of what we've seen the last couple of years the the big titles are finding it hard to keep their their mass audiences the sort of fragmentation of the market all those sort of increases were pretty much from sort of niche titles specialist specialist audiences that the magazine can really cater for um, and that they're doing well and I think we're going to see that for a while the worrying thing of course those men's magazines really tumbling you have got to think their futures are very um, very grim just uh, how likely is it that ACP magazines, of course, a big story this week, is going to find a buyer? And now we've had these reports through that Macquarie is seeking potential investors, uh, that perhaps uh, Pacific magazines could be interested. Nine's revenue is tied up a lot with, those, with the cross-platform selling and uh, the magazines are a very big part of their, their total ad revenues. Now, a lot of the magazines are pushing to get Whitney Houston special editions out and, and Woman's Day among them. Special print this Friday. Yeah, Woman's Day, normally on sale on Mondays, of course, coming out on Friday. Special Whitney cover. They decided that pretty quick. Uh, Robin Foister and uh, Fiona Connolly got together, publishing the edit on the weekend and said, yep, let's go for a Friday on sale, which is a pretty big deal to turn around a big ship like the, the weekly within uh, the Woman's Day within seven days. Go head to head with Who tomorrow on the newsstands. I just want to ask you about some uh, more executive appointments. Seem to be a, a key uh, issue that we speak about each week. Uh, in terms of uh, Seven, it's promoted both Angus Ross and also Brad Lyons. Yeah, Angus Ross is taking over the sort of head of scheduling, head of the programming, a job which Tim Warner used to do before he was promoted to uh, chief executive officer there. And, and, and Brad Lyons is their head of production. Look, he's been having a fantastic couple of years. You know, the key executive behind My Kitchen Rules, which is doing brilliant business. So, yeah, sort of two good promotions for them. And uh, just returning to ACP, uh, appointing former MCN CEO Lee Monty to a senior role. Yeah, Lee Monty brings a lot of experience. He's been working with uh, APN Media most recently, I think out of their Brisbane office, who ran MCN, this sort of subscription TV sales arm for a long time. And um, yeah, he'll bring a lot of experience to ACP. Now, just to another story this week, there have been more arrests in the, in the investigations into the, the phone hacking scandal in the UK. What's the latest on these investigations? You know, it's involving the Sun at the moment. I think there's been a total of 10 people, now five last weekend. The allegations concern um, bribery payments, some discussion, look, were these small payments, um, rewards, if you like, for genuine news tips, which a lot of people think, you know, are, are part of the business. But then it, it seems a lot of people were on almost virtual retainers, perhaps as much as £10,000 a year. Um, another interesting thing, Glenn Mulcair, who was the private eye hired by um, News of the World, did sort of, and given the or asked to tap into sort of uh, phone uh, messages on the message banks of uh, mobile phones. He's been told to reveal who told him to do that. He's appealing against that to the Supreme Court So uh, in the UK, so there's a bit to go there. All right, James, thanks very much for that. We might just take a quick break here on Media Week. After that, can the new Fox footy channel bring in new subscribers for Foxtel as it launches this week?